Hello, I'm Gary Smith. If you're looking for the target tab in Salesforce, stop now, it doesn't exist. Which is unfortunate, given that measuring sales performance versus target and the pipeline coverage ratio versus quota, I mean, that's a critical function in managing any sales team. Now, there is, of course, the forecast tab, but to be frank, I've never met anyone who can use it properly. On the other hand, the GSP Target Tracker app could be exactly what you need. Here are the key things you need to know about the GSP Target Tracker. First, it compares rep, team, and company sales performance versus targets. In other words, it tracks how you have performed. Second, it measures the pipeline coverage ratio for current and future targets. That means it's forward looking. It tells you whether the funnel is big enough to meet your sales quota. And third, it delivers the insights and the metrics you need to coach the team and conduct meaningful pipeline reviews. And of course, the other essential thing is that the GSP target tracker is very simple to use. There is no extra work required by salespeople or their managers other than keeping your opportunities up to date. Let's take a closer look. Here's the sales target record for one salesperson for one month. It's the record for Dave Apthorpe for the month of April 2020. Dave's target for the month is $20,000. He's already won $6,000. His pipeline for this month is $27,000. That looks pretty good. But his weighted pipeline is $10,900. That means that Dave's total expected revenue for the month is $16,900. That's the sum of the deals he's already won plus the value of his weighted pipeline. And that means Dave has a negative projection for the month of just over $3,000. We can see that information over on the right. The target in blue, one deals in green, the weighted pipeline in purple, and that negative variance in orange. Now, look at the chart below. This shows Dave's pipeline for this month. And we can see that almost half of the deals due to close this month are still in the value proposition stage. And around a third is in needs analysis. In fact, only $4,000 is in negotiation. So we might be concerned that Dave's target performance for this month is under an even greater threat if these early stage deals don't make it through the sales process this month. However, it does mean we have visibility of the situation. And below the chart, we can see the closed and the pipeline deals contributing to Dave's quota for the month. And that means Dave can easily identify the essential deals he needs to focus on for the month. Incidentally, we also have conversion rate metrics on the target record. That's valuable information when it comes to coaching Dave and developing his sales skills. That's the target for one person for one month. What about the team, the territory, or the company level performance? Let's have a look at some of the reports and dashboards that come with the app. Although Dave is below target, this chart shows that at the company level, we have a positive variance. The company target is in light blue. The value of one opportunity is in dark blue. The weighted pipeline here. And a positive variance for the month in green. On the right, we can see all pipeline opportunities due to close this month by stage. And beneath, we have the individual salesperson performance for this month. As we know, Dave is below target and so is Sarah. But the other two salespeople have a positive variance. So again, we can quickly identify the areas we need to focus upon. The situation for next month is slightly different. Here's our target. There's no one opportunity amount because we haven't got to next month yet. However, it looks like the pipeline is not quite big enough to meet our target. But the good news is that now we have this information, there's still time to do something about this negative projection. Further down, we have the month-on-month -month target performance. 
above target for some months, below target for others. And we can see how that pans out into the future based on our pipeline coverage. As you can see, the dashboard also has a range of other charts and graphs to provide further visibility of target performance, pipeline coverage and conversion rates. Of course, you can fully customize the underlying reports and the dashboard charts to suit the territory or sales team structure in your company. By the way, you can make adjustments to the way the target tracker works, for example, monthly, quarterly or annual targets. And you can use a custom field, annual recurring revenue, for example, rather than the standard amount field. Now, let's talk about pricing. It's very simple. The price is $250 per company per month. That is not a user fee, that's for all users. It's a monthly contract, so you can finish at any time. There is no need for a long-term commitment. And of course, you can get a 14-day free trial today by installing the GSP Target Tracker from the App Exchange. Incidentally, if you need some advice on getting the maximum benefits from the GSP Target Tracker app, just get in touch. The details are below this video. I'm Gary Smith. That's the GSP Target Tracker. Read our five-star reviews and take a free trial by visiting the App Exchange today. The details are on the screen.